figure I'd take a break from uh, messing around with the trailer. Doing a friggin' hillbilly one, baby. <laughs> uh, just bought it for like a hundred bucks. And it's been pretty good for me. It's really good, man. Uh, I still got to do the lights and all that good stuff. But, uh, you know, just in case of an emergency, you don't have to call a tow truck, any of that good stuff. So I figured I'd take a break from that and talk about a subject that's been in the media all the time now. And that subject is bikers are racist. So let's tackle the question. Are bikers racist? To be honest, some are, but most aren't. Hell, you even got well-known one percenter clubs now accepting blacks. Now that whole thing about the different scenes goes way back, way back. Many of these clubs got their start during the 40s, 50s, and 60s. It was a whole different culture back then. Yeah, there was separation of races. And that continued till this day. A lot of clubs won't accept it. Does that mean they're racist? No. That just means that their bylaws state only whites or only whites as Hispanics can join the club. The blacks got their scene. But one cool thing about it is a lot of people are now looking at the man instead of the color, which I call evolution. A lot of people, they get on me because I wear a peckerwood hat or I wear a white boy hat. That just means I'm proud of my race. That don't mean uh, I'm a racist. I judge people on their actions, not the color. But at the same time, I'm proud to be a white boy. You got black pride, you got Hispanic pride, but when it comes to white pride, all of a sudden you're a white supremacist. You know, it's kind of funny, uh, even outside the biker stuff, how far gone the use of that word has become. The Proud Boys, they call them white supremacists. Well, it's led by a black Puerto Rican. You see what I mean? It, it always, especially this year, when the Sturgis thing was going down, uh, you'll see Confederate flags, all that stuff, and they equate that with all bikers. Now, are some bikers racist? You're damn right. You're damn right. I won't even sit here and try to tell you they ain't. Some, but not all. The evolution, I guess you would have to say, is actually coming from the younger generation. Where color don't matter to them. Which, again, is a good thing. Because if I, I believe if you serve with the, uh, the armed forces or in a foxhole... You really don't give a shit what color somebody is when the bullets are flying. You're both men, you bleed red, that whole nine yards. So it's good to see that even the club scene and even the biker scene is starting to evolve. There's always going to be a few people that hold their beliefs and nothing you say is going to change that. But to paint the whole scene with a broad brush that bikers are nothing but racist, white supremacists, is a falsehood. And that shouldn't stand. We should be pushing back against that. Because bikers, like I always say, are great people. Is there issues with different lifestyles as well? Yeah. You know, they even call bikers homophobes and uh, like I always say, I don't care who you're sleeping with. That ain't my business, who you're getting your nut off with. That's up to you, man. So don't come and call everybody racist, man. I get sick of that and I actually get sick 
of people, if you think I'm a racist, write me. We'll have a discussion about why you think that. Info at InsaneThrottleBikerNews.com By the way, I really appreciate all the donations that everybody's been sending in through PayPal and YouTube Super Chat. Man, has it got tough out there with this YouTube, man. They are throttling a lot of people down. If your video gets marked adult related, which most of ours does, then you don't get any uh, income from that. And it's not even like it's that much. It's like two or three dollars a freaking video or a thousand views is all you freaking make at it. So the donations help goes right back into the show. But what do you think? Do you think it is getting tiring that everybody just freaking labels bikers as racist? The white ones that, that you know, I'm talking about the white ones. You know, it's gone even as far as people claiming they hit a motorcyclist because they were white and on a Harley. I think racism goes both ways, man. You know, there's a lot of blacks that don't like whites, a lot of browns that don't like whites. It is what it is. So, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Get on over there. You know, listen to us on Spotify and all that stuff as well. And Hollywood and China Dolls channel. I'll talk to you guys later.